A 26,000 square foot building is going up for auction in downtown LA soon, and there's something about this building that analysts are saying will make it worth $15 million more than other comparable buildings in the city. If you saw the title of today's video, you know we're talking about the historic building off of Broadway that happens to have an undisturbed work of art by the anonymous street artist who goes by Banksy. This piece of Banksy's is known as Girl on a Swing. It's in his signature stencil style of graffiti that he has become so widely known and respected for. And yes, this graffiti that you see on the wall right here is supposedly adding $15 million worth of value to this building. Usually when a building owner has some graffiti show up on the side of their building, they look at it as vandalism and they try to get it covered up or removed as quickly as possible. But when one of the most famous living artists in the world spray paints your wall, this can be a bit of a life-changing experience. Experience. In today's episode, we are going to dive into the fascinating story of this building in Los Angeles that's hitting the auction block soon. We'll talk about who this controversial street artist Banksy is, and of course, we'll dive into how Banksy's artwork on this building has completely changed the way that they're marketing it for sale. Now, for anybody who's never heard of Banksy before, you're in for a treat because his entire story and identity is fascinating. Banksy is a street artist whose most popular and recognizable work is graffiti that he has done discreetly in public places all over the world, including England, Amsterdam, California, New York City, London, Toronto, and of course, where he is from, Bristol, England. His style of artwork is considered street art, which is defined as visual art created in public places for public visibility. And the art itself is usually done with a stencil placed in a very creative way, and it tends to send a message about something controversial, whether it's politics, war, climate change, inequality, topics like that. From when Banksy first got started in the 1990s through today, he has risen to be one of the most popular artists of our time. And what's crazy about him as an artist is that even though his work is usually painted out in public places, he has somehow managed to stay completely anonymous this entire time. The fact that this man is basically a mystery I think is pretty cool and it adds a lot of interest and draw to his work. But in reality, a big reason reason why some people believe he has stayed anonymous is simply just because what he's doing is technically illegal. You're just not allowed to spray graffiti on public or private property that you don't own or have permission to use. Banksy has done a ton of art over the years. One of the ones he is most known for is of a girl letting go of a heart-shaped balloon with the words, there is always hope written over in the corner. This one is located on Waterloo Bridge in South Bank, London. Another iconic piece of his was done back in 2003. This one is called Love is in the Air. This piece is a huge stencil in Jerusalem done not long after the West Bank wall was built. He did a more comedic piece in his hometown of Bristol called Naked Man Hanging from a Window. This depicts a man hanging from a window after his mistress's husband comes home from work. Then there's another one called Yellow Lines Flower. This one was done in Benthil Green. Binksy carried on the double yellow lines from the street onto the sidewalk and then up onto the wall of a building with a big yellow flower painted on the wall. And then he depicts the man who did it sitting next to the flower. Whether you're into Banksy's style of artwork or whether or not you agree with Banksy's messaging, there is no doubt that what he is doing is grabbing the attention of people all over the world. I mean, one of his most recent pieces to have sold was titled Love is in the Bin. This one went for over $25 million last year. This is the same piece that Banksy famously made self-destruct right after it was sold at a Sotheby's auction for a million dollars just a few years prior. And selling for 860,000. This Banksy piece selling for over a million dollars in 2018 and then reselling for over 25 million dollars just a few years later just goes to show how desirable Banksy is as an artist. And it's also an example of just how great art can be as an investment. I mean, can you imagine being that person who just made $24 million on a painting? Generally speaking, seeing wealthy people at Sotheby's auctions spending tens of millions of dollars on art is totally unattainable for average investors like you and me. But thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Masterworks, investing in rare art is actually not as out of reach as you might have thought. Masterworks is a company founded back in 2017 
They are one of the largest buyers in the art market today. And what's really cool about their business model is that they allow you the opportunity to invest in rare art pieces like Picasso, Banksy, Monet, or Warhol. Kind of like when you buy a share of a stock in a publicly held company. Most billionaires put a percentage of their net worths into alternative assets, which makes sense because believe it or not, the rise of contemporary art prices has actually outpaced the S&P 500 over the past 25 years. For investors who have invested their money into fine art through Masterworks, they've already secured an average 29% net return to investors after exiting six paintings. So of course, do your own due diligence, but it seems like a pretty great time to get into the art game, at least to me, especially with inflation still being at all time highs. If you want to diversify your portfolio and join the 500,000 other people who have already signed up, check out the link in the description, masterworks.art slash Scott Edward. Thank you Masterworks for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now let's get back to the story. Okay, so let's move back to the building in LA with a Banksy on the side that's hitting the auction block here in a couple of weeks. Like I said at the beginning, this Banksy art is simply called Girl on a Swing, and all he did here was paint a girl hanging off of the A in the word parking, and then he whitewashed the I-N-G part of parking out to put emphasis on the word park, leaving the finished mural about 12 by 22 feet. I read that the meaning behind this one is probably just simply pointing out that there's a lack of places for kids to play in the city. So the painting itself is showing a girl playing in the park. Kind of. Anyways, Banksy painted this one, Girl on a Swing, when he was out in LA for the premiere of a documentary that he actually directed called Exit Through the Gift Shop. And I guess the building owners were not offended by the piece at all because it still looks exactly like it did back when Banksy originally painted it. You can even see it here in the Google Street View. Now it's kind of tucked behind this other big building. So this building here must have been built sometime recently. Clearly there's no parking lot here anymore, but you can still see the mural. This building going up for auction is owned by a couple named Tarina Tarantino and Alfonso Campos. And pretty smart of them actually, it looks like here in this picture, they installed a piece of plastic over the art on the side of the building to preserve it and protect it from being vandalized like so many other Banksy pieces do. Tarina and Alfonso bought this place back in 2007 for 4 million bucks and they went on to sink another $1.8 million into renovations, including some cosmetic updates, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC. They ran their own business out of here and rented out the rest to tenants, but unfortunately, these guys lost about half of their tenants during the pandemic, which forced them to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which is why the place is being sent for auction. The listing for this property is being marketed in a few different ways. One of the places is up on a website called LoopNet. If you've never heard of LoopNet before, it's basically like the Zillow for commercial real estate. So here we have what they're calling the Banksy building. Like we said at the beginning, it's 26,000 feet. It's 52% leased right now. It's an office building. And the investment highlights say that it features the only Banksy mural in LA still in its original location. The building is an iconic part of LA's film history. And it was fully renovated in 2018 with top rate commercial real estate space, class A first floor retail space, and a bar ready basement. There's only a couple of photos that are up, but this gives you a view of the building from the street at nighttime. Another close up of the mural. We've already looked at that plenty together today. Here's a picture of the building during the daytime. I mean, it's a really nice looking structure. It looks nicely maintained. And that one next door is clearly really nice too. And then once we get to some of the interior photos, you can see that it's not all that exciting, but the finishes inside are nice. A few of these shots are probably from tenants who are still there. Remember, it's still 52% leased. And then it showcases some vacant space, and the vacant space is really nice and clean, and I would consider to be rent ready myself. You know, when you're marketing a commercial piece of real estate like this, it's going to be worth the most amount of money whenever there's a lot of tenants in place. You want to be as close to 100% occupancy as possible, so it is not a good look that this thing is half empty. If we go back to the loop, net listing and then we scroll down here just a bit you can see there's this attachment this is what's called an om usually that they include which just gives you some investment highlights so we're not going to go through every single detail on this flyer guys but you can see they're totally using like a street art style of font they give some building info and they talk about it being a culturally historically and socially significant structure here they say it is a once in a lifetime chance to own la's last remaining banksy mural in its original location 
location. And then there's some local info here. So this map just shows us where this building is in proximity to other points of interest, places like the Orpheum Theater, the Apple Tower Theater, the Microsoft Theater, Crypto.com Arena, stuff like that. The last page gives us some detail about the qualifying bid deadline. Remember, this is not being offered as a traditional sale, so that all that detail on how you go about bidding for this property is listed here. I browsed around LoopNet to look at other commercial real estate listings in this part of downtown LA. Some of these don't show their listing prices, but the other ones that do show their price, it looks like the average asking price is more in the five to $10 million range. That's not a good look for this property that they're saying is worth as much as $30 million with a Banksy art. I think one of the downsides is that this place is literally just a few blocks away from this downtown region in LA called Skid Row that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. With Skid Row being so close, this is probably not an area that a lot of California investors want to own commercial real estate. Like we just saw, the auction for this Banksy building is coming up on October 20th, and I'm really anxious to see how this one pans out. I mean, on one hand, we have an old building, this half vacant, this sitting in not the most desirable location. All of those factors definitely impact the value of this place. But on the other hand, we've got that bank's yard up on the side that by itself we have confirmed really is worth somewhere around 10 or 15 million bucks, even though that art alone doesn't add much value to the real estate investment. The new owner technically could buy the building, remove the mural, and then just sell the mural on the open market. This actually did happen with a mural of Banksy's called Crowbar Girl in Suffolk. That art was removed and sold for an estimated $2.4 million, but removing any of Banksy's public art and selling it privately is kind of frowned upon because if he installed the art publicly, then Banksy meant for that art to be enjoyed publicly. If the new owner does not plan on removing that art from the wall and selling it privately, then I wouldn't consider that the art adds any value to the building whatsoever. The reason I feel that way is because sadly, it's probably only a matter of time before some van or Mother Nature destroys this piece just like many of the other Banksy public pieces. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys think that this artwork provides any value to this piece of real estate in Los Angeles. That's all I've got for you guys this episode though. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see ya!